Hello and welcome to the chapter one, the first set of videos. This will be from technically 1.0 and 1.1. We're going to look at these two standards today. The first one, identify the individuals and variables in the data set. Um, the individuals are just the objects being described in a data set. You can always ask who is being described to answer that question. Variables are any characteristics of the individual. So what do we know about the individuals? The second standard is classifying variables as categorical or quantitative. Categorical variables are variables that can be placed into uh, one of several groups or categories is the way I think about it. Quantitative variables are variables that um, they're numerical where it makes sense to take an average. So quantitative variables are uh, generally or essentially counting something. For example, the height of somebody would be quantitative because it's measuring their height. Um, quantitative variables will always have units, inches, centimeters, pounds. Let's look at an example problem to uh, really clarify all this. So here is a data set from an AP stats class. Um, the data come from an anonymous or come from anonymous responses to a questionnaire filled out on the first day of class. So the first question is, identify the individuals who is being described in this data set, the AP uh, students who responded to the questionnaire. Uh, those are the individuals. The next question, what are the variables? The variables are what we know about the individuals. So what do we know about them? We know their gender, grade level, GPA, number of children in their family, number of minutes they spent on homework last night, and their Android or their, whether they use an Android or an iPhone. So let's classify each of these variables as quantitative or categorical. Gender is categorical. They fall into the male or the female uh, category. So this is categorical. Grade level, although it's a number, it's still classifying them in their year of school. So uh, their grade level is actually going to be categorical because they're a ninth grader or an 11th grader or a 10th grader or a 12th grader. GPA is measuring how well they're doing in school and it's numerical. Uh, it makes sense to take the average of uh, GPA of all the students. So this is going to be a quantitative variable. Number of children in their family, again, it is, uh, makes sense to take an average. Uh, the units here would be children. Homework last night. Now this one, uh, if, this, if the students responded and, and said, I worked for 32 minutes, and each student said exactly how long they worked, this would be a quantitative variable. But since this was a survey, and you can see that the students respond to this as a multiple choice, they picked the category that captured their answer. So if they worked for 10 minutes, they would have said from zero to 14. And you can see multiple people picked the same category that captured theirs. So in this case, it's actually going to be a categorical variable because they had to pick which category their time spent fit into. And then lastly, an Android phone or an iPhone is also a category. So you can see how I put my answers as uh, the variables and then just a Q or a C to identify quantitative or categorical. Quantitative is not always numerical. I hope you, you can see that. Uh, a phone number, a social security number, uh, neither of those would be quantitative, even though, they're, even though they're numbers, those would be categorical because it doesn't make sense to take the average. 